So Congresswoman, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, have you ever been to a convention before? I have. My first convention was here in Chicago as a page in 1996, and I've been a delegate to every convention since. And now this is my first as a member of Congress. How does this one compare to all the others? Oh, it's, it's so much more exciting. I mean, each in their own way was exciting, but... Um, I feel like this is bigger than 2008 because in 2008 it was hope and history versus more of the same and there was all of the joy that came around with the hope and history but now it's hope and history versus chaos, fear and division and the stakes are so much higher so that means the joy is that much greater and it's the fact that we're going to shatter a glass ceiling while you know saving democracy while protecting and building on the progress we've made in the past four years. It's just very exciting. What do you think Vice President Harris can do to appeal to more independent voters? Well, she's already doing that. I mean, we saw some polling that showed shortly after she became the nominee that she was doing well, doing better among them, uh, and that we see some of the swing states that we weren't sure about are now, she's either tied or leading in. And just anecdotally, what I hear among independent voters as I'm campaigning, whether in my district or in other states for the campaign, is um, they're, they're, they like what they're hearing.